CryptoToolbox.com. Today, I want to introduce a free online calculator for a bridge engineer to use in order to optimize your design between the exterior and the interior beams, okay, for your multi girder bridge applications. If you go to the website bridgetoolbox.com and choose the first toolbox, and what you're seeing right now is a free online calculator to help you balance the exterior girder and the interior girder loads. All right, we know that we're gonna have to decide the girder spacing and overhang distance in a preliminary bridge design stage without doing too much calculations. This can become a somewhat hard task, okay? Now this tool will give you a rel relatively accurate results for you to nail down the optimized girder spacing and overhang distance, okay? Now the graph shows you uh, a cross section of the bridge, which should look really familiar to you guys. For example, the, the girder spacings, the overhand distance, those are the requirements, the required field entry in this program. Now you move on to the next stage, You anywhere you see blue, that that is a required input, okay? Now first thing you wanna do is you wanna program to manually enter the overhang you, or you want to the program to auto compute it, okay? Uh, it'll give you the choice. Next stage is the girder selections. You can either pick from a predefined uh, uh, pre-stressed concrete beam list. Uh, all the Ashto girders are here and the bulb tees as well as the Florida I-beams, okay? You can also enter your I-beam sections for your plate girders um, right here. Uh, it, it, don't forget to pick the right uh, material for the beam. Or the third option is that you can simply enter the generic uh, beam properties, such as the area, uh, the cross section area, the height of centroid, the beam height, and the moment of inertia. You can enter these vent manually and then pick the beam material. Okay. Now, as an example, I'm simply going to pick one from the list. Let's say I want to use bulb T63. And then you can see that the results is 93.2%. It means that if you divide uh, your exterior girder load by the interior girder load, you'll simply get 93.2%, okay? You want to try to nail this down to 100% if possible. If not, I would recommend to stay in the green zone, which means 5% difference between the exterior and interior beams. And trust me, guys, this will make your final design a lot easier. If you're interested in the details, it, it'll give you the calculated load um, at the bottom of the page. Um, but be careful, guys. This is not a, a final design. You still have to perform your own beam final designs, but this gives you a quick access of an online tool for you to decide a preliminary girder spacing and overhand pretty easily. Okay, and this will conclude my tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time.